uh, here we have to explain about gas lesion in amphiaxis already we told the purpose of gas lesion as the formation of germ layers ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm here we can explain the gas lesion under three subtitles flattening invagination and involution now first of all you assume there is the blast flow as the result of the cleavage process and um, in a section we can find the outer layer called blastoderm made of blastomeres and the inner region cavity called the blasto seal filled with the fluid and from the egg we can assume this would be the animal pole region and this would be the vegetal pole part of the blastula and the first process is flattening that is some of the blastoderm mal cells at the vegetal pole region get flattened like this and then the flattened blastodermal layer moves inward into the blastocil cavity and the process of the inward movement of the blastoderm layer the flattened blastoderm layer is called invagination now due to this inward movement that the blastocil cavity gets reduced on one side and there is formed a two layered structure bilaminar structure and the inner layer is called endoderm outer layer is called ectoderm now here the space formed out of this invagination process is called arc enteron which will be the gut of the future animal and uh, the invagination gives an appearance of mouth at the point of invagination which may be called a blastopore now just for an uh, convenience you assume it to be the dorsal lip of blastopore and the ventral lip of blastopore now there are certain determined cells which are going to form the notochord in uh, the developing embryo at the dorsal lip region similarly certain cells which are going to become mesoderm layer accumulated at the ventral lip region of the blastopore now they multiply and start moving just they are rolling into the gap between ectoderm and the endoderm uh, probably beneath the ectodermal layer and the process of the rolling movement of the cells from the point of dorsal lip called involution involution so that way you can differentiate the meaning for invagination and the invol involution here invagination is the inward movement of the whole layer into the blastocil cavity thus the blastocil cavity is reduced and a bilaminar structure is resulting but here the cells accumulated at the tip of this uh, what we mean by the word dorsal lip determined to form notochord moving into the area just beneath the ectodermal layer and such kind of movement is said to be involution so that way the three layers are formed so already there the ectoderm and the endoderm present and in addition to that due to the involution process of the presumptive notochord and presumptive mesoderm presumptive in the sense going to become into 
in the future individual notochord and the mesoderm there three germ layers are uh, resulting of that is ectoderm mesoderm endoderm